PTSD and disabilities are challenging for anybody, but one group of veterans has found a creative way to overcome obstacles. TGV 11's Vanessa Page shows us how they use art to heal. This year, about 40 veterans participated in the Central Arkansas Veterans Healthcare System's Creative Arts Festival. This isn't just a competition. For some, it's life-saving. Isaac Zomaya once served in the Army National Guard. I suffered a noise injury um, using a loud power tool without proper hearing protection. He had to leave the service because of his condition. He now faces extreme sound sensitivity. I suffer every day just to leave the house. Um, I get vertigo with sound, vestibular migraines, inner ear pain, uh, loud ringing. When it first started, he could no longer work and ended up homeless. But things changed three years ago when he found a new purpose. I basically just taught myself from scratch how to draw and then from drawing to painting. Today, for the first time, he entered the Central Arkansas Veterans Healthcare System's Creative Arts Festival. And he ended up taking home the People's Choice Award. I feel at peace. He hopes his journey inspires others. Just because you have a disability doesn't mean you can't find ability. This is something he and a fellow veteran have shown true. If he can do it, there is absolutely no reason that no one else can. Barry Farley is a veteran who has limited mobility due to ALS. He creates his artwork with his eyes through special eye gaze technology. In a world with his situation, he's constantly faced with things that he can't do. Being able to do things that he can gives him the will and the power to keep trying. Farley took home the Best of Show Award. There's a lot of veterans who've gone through combat, who've gone through their own issues, medical issues, all kinds of things of that nature that, that pile up on us as veterans. But uh, when we come to doing our artwork, this is our outlet. This is our way to, to find that way to get our minds out on canvas. The winners will go to a national competition in Washington, D.C. There they'll compete against veterans all over the country. All right, Vanessa, thank you. That's incredible.